Ita, I stopped my MIL from coming to the house. I'm a 43-year-old man. I lost my wife six years ago, and I have a 16-year-old son, Ethan. Recently, I got engaged to my fiancé, Emily, who I've been with for two years. However, there has always been tension between me and Emily's mother, my future MIL. She tends to be controlling, self-centered, and acts as if she's someone more important than she is. I've tried to let things go for the sake of peace, but she constantly focuses on Ethan, finding faults and trying to label him with things like being withdrawn or socially awkward. Ethan is a quiet, introverted teenager who's still adjusting to this new family dynamic. He's been seeing a therapist and doing well, but MIL can't seem to leave him alone. She keeps trying to help by asking him intrusive questions during family dinners and running little exercises to figure out his personality. I finally had enough and told Ethan he didn't need to deal with Amiel if he didn't want to. He was grateful and began keeping his distance, which didn't sit well with Amiel. She started complaining that I was spoiling him and that Emily would have to fix things once we're married. I asked her to stop, but she kept insisting that she was only trying to help Ethan, or as she calls him, E. Ethan. Last week, Emil came over uninvited, saying she wanted to visit Ethan. After a quick greeting, Ethan went to the bathroom, and Emil joined Emily in the living room. A few minutes later, Ethan told me he was upset because his journal was missing. We looked around the house, but it was nowhere to be found. I asked Emily if she had seen it, but she hadn't. Then I noticed Emil coming down the stairs with her purse. I immediately felt something was wrong. When I asked Emil where she had been, she said she'd just been in the bathroom. I didn't believe her and directly asked if she had taken Ethan's journal. She got defensive and called for Emily to back her up, but I wasn't letting this go. I insisted on checking her purse, and when she tried to leave, I stood in her way. Sure enough, when I checked her bag, Ethan's journal was inside. Emil tried to explain it away, saying it was her only way to get to know Ethan better, because she cares about him. I was furious. I told her off for taking something that didn't belong to her and said she was no longer welcome in my house. She argued, then stormed out. Emily apologized for her mom but said I went too far by banning her from the house. Things have escalated since. My future FIL is angry, accusing me of being controlling, and he's pushing Emily to end the engagement. Emily told me her family won't attend the wedding unless I reconcile with her mother and lift the ban. I'm standing my ground, though. I don't want my son to feel disrespected or uncomfortable in his own home. While I know this may affect my relationship with Emily's family, I believe I need to protect Ethan. Emily, on the other hand, thinks I'm being stubborn and creating unnecessary drama.